inspire, connect, resource, growing healthy churches, is in relationship for God's mission. I, I love the sense of togetherness, um, the sense of family. Um, sort of friends for the journey. And it makes you feel part of a larger family. I went to the conference last year and I was able to sort of point out different people from along my journey. Um, when people talk about being part of a family, I really felt like I was actually seeing my own family. Really exciting, the people you get to meet. They're just, they're just so diverse, aren't they? It's just brilliant. Sharing our ideas and resources and encourage one another, praying together and spurring one another on. Being able to connect with like-minded people who understand some of the uh, complexities, the joys, the sorrow that you, you face as a minister. For me, being a messenger from one local church to another has been a real joy. I just love that opportunity to share the stories, to share the news and to bring inspiration from one place to another. We Seeing people pick up the baton of Christian leadership and ministry. So I have a passion for developing leaders and SCBA is about that. So the little part I'm able to play on the team, I believe helps in that respect, in the supporting and the developing of leaders. Say that we're an association that, um, that cares about young leaders and we're really wanting to find them to be able to nurture them and encourage them. I've just completed my first year studying at Regent's Park College in Oxford on the Ministerial Recognition Board. Actually, the kind of interviews that I had with um, people from Southern Counties were really helpful. It really started to kind of connect the dots for me in terms of, you know, going down the path towards ministerial training. Um, I'm Amy Allen. I'm the Administration Manager for Southern Counties Baptist Association. I'm not just the Administrator, I'm the Administration Manager. I would say that we're an association that's really keen to um, kind of like equip and empower loads of children, youth and families workers to be serving our association, serving one another, and obviously serving the children and young people in their churches and communities. It matters that in church community together, we create spaces where everyone is safe and everyone is valued. Uh, and in order to do that, most of our church leaders describe that they need a bit of help sometimes and they need a place to think. And that's what we provide. Home mission is really, really vital, vital. I think if it was not for the SCBA support, this church may have probably closed down. But SCBA had come alongside to come and help us to re-establish our focus. We were Church of the Year a few years ago and just it really felt lovely that the Southern Counties folk, you know, prepared to put their money where their mouth is and keep us going and cheer us on and enable us to do the work that we're doing with our community. Ah, oh, the Leaders' Conference is just fantastic. And, and, one, and one of the reasons why the Leaders' Conference is so good is obviously the food is fantastic. <laughs> I found it extremely useful because I've been able to hear the, the, the overall bigger picture of what the CAB is doing. And one of the things I've really valued uh, this year during lockdown has been the uh, the SCBA day with Rachel Gardner and just being in the breakout groups with people that I didn't know and praying and chatting and talking those things through. The other highlight would be, I think, when someone, perhaps who's been around for a while, says, I want to, I want to keep on growing and developing. You know, can you help me work out what God is saying to me? Can you help me work out where I can find a way of uh, developing further as a leader or as a minister? Every time I get to do that, that's when I'm buzzing. We all need people to journey alongside us, to care for us, to listen to us, to support us, to pray for us, to prompt us, to challenge us from time to time. So when we think about uh, some of the pioneering situations that we've got across the association, I've not come across that in previous associations. Um, and there's been this sense, um, and, and I think that this has been really modelled well by our trustees, where we've gone, hmm, not been here before, but let's let's try it i think um when i first started out in a pioneering path i was told my path would be a little bit like crazy paving and i think quite often structures and organizations only want to follow something if it looks like a fairly straight path and crazy paving often looks a bit haphazard whereas i'd say take the risk go with it because even though it's crazy paving it's still a path and uh we live on a new build down there and where a new community is hopefully going to be growing and uh, I also run a little 
social enterprise called the Water Sports Library. So four kind of Christian couples from the local area took a week each and we rented out this beach hut for four consecutive weeks. And, um, and different people have been doing different things with their week. A couple of days ago, the awning literally blew off this beach hut. And so the last couple of days have been spent trying to repair it. I've really appreciated getting to know what goes on behind the scenes to understand the whole bigger picture of what SCBA is about and to think about how do we grow from here, not just as individual churches, but working together. We're going to give this our best shot before God and whether it be in the area of mission or admin or communications or justice, wherever it happens to be, with all the, you know, finance and justice and children, youth and families. It's just getting more people involved so we have a more of a breadth of knowledge and skills. Contact with us because there's so many different ways in which maybe your gifts could be used for um, wider than your just local context. Healthy churches in relationship for God's mission. So the big picture is what you're doing as a trustee is enabling that to happen in, in situation after situation after situation getting involved as a trustee is a really worthwhile thing to do. I think this is a crucial time as COVID has given us the opportunity to think in new directions and I'm looking forward to being more of a part of that growth. I'm excited. I, th I think it, we're in a good place. Inspire, connect, resource, growing healthy churches. It's in relationship for God's mission.